what's up it's cyclonus and i am here once again with some more xbox related news thank you for joining me ladies and gentlemen and thank you for taking your time out to uh check out another one of my great videos now before i get underway i just want to thank all the new subscribers that i've gained i really appreciate it and it means a lot to me and i want to give a shout out to the whole intro media gaming family and you can check out the folks down at intro media gaming.com i will leave a link to the website down below now on to this video it was only a couple of days ago that we heard that amd's next gen cpu architecture will be called polaris but now we're hearing about a refresh xbox one that will feature this new gpu now this news is coming from a rumor posted on the overclock.net forums now this could be just a huge coincidence that Microsoft's updated Xbox One software is called Polaris, but with a rumored Polaris architecture in the works from AMD. Keep in mind that by now most people who follow the Xbox One closely knows that AMD's APUs power the Xbox One. So it makes sense. So for this one though, I definitely have it as a rumor and consideration. But if it turns out to be true, you can bet we'll hear more about this in the coming months. It seems like shipments of this Polaris form Xbox One Rider could start as early as quarter three of 2016 reports say. Most like um, NVIDIA's Pascal is approaching higher performance when compared to a prior GPU architecture. Now come on, the signs are obvious. Could this new Xbox One be some more absolute than the one now on the current market? Or is there something already in the Xbox One's GPU that we don't know about? It's too early to tell right now, though it doesn't seem out the range of possibility. After all, if they are truly going to use the latest and more powerful Polaris architecture, then this should be a great addition to Xbox hardware. Xbox One has been mostly criticized for weaker hardware when compared to the competitor Sony's PlayStation 4 by the lying media and trolling PlayStation fanboys and ponies. It's time for Microsoft to break this myth and smash the PlayStation graphically and turn the tables. Another choice for Microsoft is simply to make a smaller Xbox One, which will lead to a huge slice of production costs. With this latest news circulated around the Xbox brand, the sky is the limit for Microsoft. And the Xbox brand's future is looking brighter than ever. And I don't see nothing remote close to this going on in the PlayStation 4 community which is why the Xbox one is the best leave your comments down below I will leave a link to this article I'm Cyclonus a pony's worst nightmare and my opinion counts